One of the most important things for startups is to develop and release the MVP and start getting feedback on the product as soon as possible. In the process of bringing the application to the market quickly, monitoring is an area which sometimes gets ignored. Monitoring is critical for business continuity and to better understand the user experience. Hello, my name is Jillian Ford, and I am a startup solutions architect here at AWS. In this video, we will discuss resource monitoring and how easy it is to achieve operational excellence by using a few simple AWS services. Let's get started. In my experience working with startups, I have seen many companies focus on achieving operational excellence to build strong trust and offer a great user experience. The ability to run systems and gain insight into the operations helps you continuously improve supporting processes and procedures. It also enables you to act in real time if you face any performance, configuration, or security issues. We recommend that initially, startups use monitoring in a reactive mode. You can have visibility in the system through a set of metrics and a dashboard. As you grow, you can move to a proactive approach of a self-healing system to achieve that operational excellence. Before we talk about the specific services, let's first understand what resource monitoring is. It means monitoring AWS resources like Amazon EC2, Amazon RDS, different container services, or even serverless services like AWS Lambda and Amazon DynamoDB for latency, traffic, errors, and saturation. To give you an example, a successful startup using AWS Elastic Beanstalk to deploy its web application might need to scale its RDS instance if metrics like network throughput, CPU utilization, or input-output operations per second are found to be very high or another startup using a serverless architecture with a NoSQL database like DynamoDB might need to scale its read capacity to deal with the surge in traffic. How can a startup achieve this using AWS monitoring services? We recommend using Amazon CloudWatch. Amazon CloudWatch is a monitoring and observability service built for DevOps engineers, developers, site reliability engineers, and IT managers. It provides you with data and actionable insights to monitor your applications, respond to system-wide performance changes, and optimize resource utilization. The service collects the data in the form of logs, metrics, and events, providing you with a unified view of AWS resources, applications, and services. You can also monitor custom metrics generated by your own applications and services. CloudWatch can also be used to detect anomalous behavior in your environments, set alarms, and take automated actions to keep your applications running smoothly. Let's go back to our first example of using AWS Elastic Beanstalk. If the CPU utilization of EC2 was very high due to a surge in traffic in a reactive mode, you can create an alarm to monitor that and send an email if it exceeds the thresholds defined by you. Since Amazon CloudWatch Alarm is integrated with Amazon Simple Notification Service, you can use any notification type supported by SMS. Many customers even integrate with third-party business communication applications or incident response platforms using AWS Lambda for remediation. Another recommendation is to take a proactive approach and configure the alarm to perform an automated action, like executing an AWS auto-scaling policy and adding new EC2 instances by scaling horizontally to distribute the traffic across multiple EC2 instances. Defining a threshold for the alarms could be tricky to make it easier for creating and avoiding manual configuration and experimentation of alarms, you can use the CloudWatch Anomaly Detection feature on metrics. 
Amazon CloudWatch anomaly detection applies machine learning algorithms to continuously analyze metrics of systems and applications, determine normal baselines, and surface anomalies with minimal user intervention. You can create alarms based on a metric's expected value. These types of alarms don't have a static threshold for determining alarm state. Instead, they compare the metric's value to the expected value based on the anomaly detection model. Finally, to monitor your resources in a single view, you can use Amazon CloudWatch dashboards. You can create customized views of the critical resource and application measurements and alarms for your AWS resources. Through automatic dashboards, you can create aggregated views of the health and performance of all AWS resources. Automatic dashboards are pre-built with AWS service recommended best practices to remain resource aware. They even dynamically update to reflect the latest state of important performance metrics. This enables you to quickly get started with monitoring, explore account and resource-based views of metrics and alarms, and easily drill down to understand the root cause of performance issues. I hope that you found the information provided in this video useful and that it helps you serve your customers better with operational excellence. To wrap up, remember these best practices to optimize resource monitoring. Use CloudWatch metrics to monitor the resources. Create CloudWatch alarms for generating alerts and create dashboards to get a unified view of important resources. Have fun and build on.